Hey everyone, and welcome to my second video on my brand new uh, channel, Aubreyman62187. Uh, I did promise I'd show some VHS collections on this channel, and that's what we're about to do. I'm going to redo my Disney VHS tape collection. Uh, when I first did those under the name Obstero 6, I just kind of showed the tapes like Imagination 80 did. But now I'm going to show you the tapes and go over what I think about it. And I'll go into detail about the tape itself, kind of like how NES Fan 1111 and Home of the Good Guys, a.k.a. Chris from Brooklyn, do it. And if you're looking for a huge collection of Disney VHS tapes, well, you've come to the right place. I don't know if I have as many as Imagination 80 has, but I've got quite a few. So I'm not wasting any more time. We're going to get right to it. And I'm going to do these all in ABC order, alphabetical order. So that, how's that sound? Okay, the first tape I'd like to talk about is Air Bud. This is the 1997 VHS release. And this is a pretty good film if you like animals and if you like sports. Then this is a good film to watch. I remember I bought this in early 98 at Target. And if you look at the tape itself, it says it's rated PG-13. It is not rated PG-13. It is PG. They, uh, they made a goof error of some sort. I don't know why, but hey, what can you say, though? But this is a good movie. If you like animal films or sports films, go check this film out. It's a good one. And, um, the next VHS tape I have here is the 1993 VHS of Aladdin. I got this for Christmas when I was six. And Aladdin, this is a very, very good movie. Um, the people who made The Little Mermaid made this film. And there are two versions of this uh, uh, VHS print. There's, it has the green FBI screens as well as the neat preview for Lion King, then the preview for Pinocchio, and then feature presentation, then the 1992 Walt Disney Classics logo, and then the Walt Disney Pictures logo. They made another VHS print where before the, Aladdin tra uh, before the Lion King trailer, it says, coming to theaters from Walt Disney Pictures, that a short bumper. I don't have this. This video chest tape does not have it. But maybe I can find it sometime soon. We'll wait and see. But Aladdin, this is a good film. If you like the Aladdin movies, then you'll enjoy this. And I have another Aladdin VHS tape, and it's actually the Platinum Edition VHS from 2004. I don't have the DVD of this film, but I was able to find this at a pawn shop uh, in December. And it has some features. It's restored and remastered, and it has a music video, Proud of Your Boy, performed up by Clay Aiken. Clay Aiken is an okay singer, I guess. And, of course, if you look down at the bottom, it's got the creepy THX logo. You see it right there, too. A bunch of Disney VHS tapes starting in 1997 when they were either released or re-released. They put in the THX logo, and there are a bunch of people out there who don't like the THX logo, but it doesn't bother me personally. I think it's a pretty cool logo. It has a blue lid on there, kind of like how they put, how they did VHS tapes in the early 2000s, or when they stopped making them in 2006. But, you know, Aladdin, it's a classic film. Everybody knows about this. And also, um, another Aladdin film I have here is Aladdin and the King of Thieves, starring Robin Williams. This is a 1996 VHS. It's the last film in the Aladdin trilogies. I have The Return of Jafar as well, but I'll show that in another video. And Robin Williams, he's a pretty funny guy. He is really funny when it comes to voicing the genie. And there's one point in the movie where Jasmine is worried about whether Aladdin's going to come back or not, but the genie actually impersonates one of my favorite Robin Williams characters, Mrs. Doubtfire, where he says, Listen to genie, dear. He will be back. It takes patience. <laughs> I like the movie Mrs. Doubtfire. I also have that film. I'll show that tape when I do my Fox VHS collection soon. But this is not a bad sequel. It's a pretty good one. Oh, there's Tiger. Hey, Tiger, look at the camera. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> He's just looking all around. <laughs> He's a silly cat. Let's get on with the VHS tapes. Next one I have is a Alice in Wonderland. This is from around the early 90s, about 92 or something. I don't know. But this VHS tape was actually printed in 1994. I'll show you the print date in just a moment. 
And I have uh, the 1986 VHS case, uh, tape in a cardboard case. I'll show you that when I show my tapes that are not in clamshell cases. But Alice in Wonderland is another good film to watch. It's pretty good. There it is. And let me show you the print date. May the 17th of 1994. I got this tape in July of 94, I think. I can't quite remember, but I know that's the year I got this. It was in 94, and my mom got it for me and my sister at Sam's Club. And this is a pretty good movie. If you're a fan of the Alice in Wonderland, you should check this out. Oh. Oh, wait. I'll talk about that in another video. <laughs> Next, MDJE and Home of the 356 and Home of the Good Guys, a.k.a. Chris from Brooklyn, they each have the 1996 VHS of the Aristocats. A good movie, a classic film. This was the first Disney animated film uh, produced after Walt Disney's death, because Disney died in 1966, and this film was 1970. Well, actually, Jungle Book was released a year after Disney's death, but Disney supervised that one. But, um... If you're a fan of the movie, like 101 Dalmatians, which is, that's one of my favorite Disney films, then you'd like the Aristocats. And they, I think I saw a VHS, a, a gold classic collection VHS of this tape at a pawn shop. I might get that soon. I don't have the 2000 or the 2008 DVD yet, but I might get the 2008 DVD soon. But the Aristocats, good movie. Love it. And, um, next I have, um, the first 1989 VHS release of Bambi. Well, this was, 1989 was the first year that this was released. I know Chris from Brooklyn has this, um, tape, and Bambi. This was the very first Disney animated movie I ever watched. I first got this for Christmas when I was two. This was back in 1989. But somehow in 1998, I lost the film. But fortunately, thank God for the things we call pawn shops. Which is a place I visit a lot of where I buy these VHS tapes and Bambi, classic film. Everybody loves this film, I'm sure. And I also have another VHS copy of Bambi where I, of this tape where I don't have the case. I will show that in another video. And I have another VHS printing of Bambi from 1997. The 55th anniversary limited edition and it's fully restored. And yep, can you tell me what that is right there? THX, yep. Now, on my old account, Obstero 6, I posted a bunch of previews from these VHS tapes. But because of a copyright claim from the Walt Disney Company, although they haven't contacted me about it, Disney has been, you know, taking down a bunch of videos of their copyrighted stuff. And, well, I, I even though I put the mention of who the copyrights belong to, uh, I still got to play it safe, so... On this channel, Aubreyman6217, you will not see any previews. I will put these on Daily Motion under my Obstro 7 account. But also, the 1997 VHS of Bambi has the behind-the-scenes program at the making of it, the magic behind the masterpiece. That's also a good program to watch. You should check that out too. We got time to show a few more. I want to show you two VHS printings of Beauty and the Beast. Put this one here. Put this one here. This uh, was printed in 1992, well these were both printed in 92, but the print date on this is from 92, this one's from 93. I want to talk about this one first. Beauty and the Beast, the only animated Disney film to ever be nominated for an Academy Award for Best Picture. And you can't blame it, because it is a classic film. I love Beauty and the Beast. I remember my mom took my sister and I to see this movie when it first came out in 1991. We saw it three times. Classic film. And this VHS has the uh, green FBI screens and the coming only to movie theaters for the 1992 holiday season with the music. Then a trailer for Aladdin or a behind or a teaser trailer. Then a re-release trailer for Sleeping Beauty, although it was never re-released in the U.S. theatrically in, in 1993. And it has the special previews bumper this tape does, but after the film, it just shows one preview. 101 Dalmatians. Now let's go into detail about this one. I got this at a pawn shop recently, and look, it's got those lines that they started printing on Disney tapes in 93, and this tape right here was printed on May 13, 1993. 
This tape, after the Sleeping Beauty trailer, it has a home video trailer for Pinocchio. And this one has the special preview bumper. Special preview. And, of course, 101 Dalmatians. Preview at the end. But, yeah, that's where these two tapes differ. This one has no Pinocchio trailer and the special previews bumper. This one has a Pinocchio preview and a special preview bumper. Well, we've got a little over 10 minutes of uh, part one of my VHS, Disney VHS collection, but we are going to go into part two right after this, and I will show you even more Disney VHS tapes. I've got quite a bunch to go over, so I hope you all will stay tuned for that, won't you? In the meantime, type in your comments and tell me what you think. I will see you in part two. Okay, time now to move into part two of my Disney VHS tape collection. When we last picked off, I showed my two VHS tapes of Beauty and the Beast. One tape was printed in 1992, the other has a print date from 1993. And so now I'm going to pick up from there. And the next video VHS tape I'd like to show you is uh, the 1990, it's either 1989 or 1990, I'm not entirely sure, of Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. I found this at a pawn shop back in November for only $2. This is the second or third printing of this tape. I'm not entirely sure. I know Bed Knobs and Broomsticks was first printed. The first VHS tape came out in 1980. There's no print date there. But when I first got this tape, the label was falling off, so I, so I taped it back on there. And this is not a bad film. If you like Mary Poppins, then that, you'd like Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. This is a good film. This is a kind of a hard-to-find copy, but... You might find one at your local pawn shop or on eBay or something. Moving on, um, 1996 VHS of The Big Green. Pretty funny movie from the creators of Angels in the Outfield. I have Angels in the Outfield, but I don't have it on VHS. At least, not yet. And this is a pretty funny movie. Like I said, if you like uh, sports films, and this film is recommended for you. It was shot in my home state, Texas. And, um, it's a funny movie to watch. It's a comedy. So you should go check this out. Okay, the next tape I'd like to show is the 1998 VHS of The Black Cauldron. Uh, yep, I found this at a pawn shop uh, back in uh, December. And Chris from Brooklyn, I know, has this uh, printing as well. And, um... This was, like, as he mentioned, this is the first Disney film to use the Walt Disney Pictures logo from 1985. Well, that's when this film was released. It was 1985. But also, um, I read a, a rumor, I heard something about they're going to release Black Cauldron on a special edition Disney DVD uh, later this year. If they do, I might go get that because I don't have a DVD of this film. Well, actually, I do. I recorded it off Toon Disney back in 2006. And this VHS has the special program, or no, feature program bumper. But at the beginning it shows the Walt Disney Home Video logo, but I have seen a printing of this film where it has the feature presentation logo and the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo. This one, however, though, has the feature program. But it's a good film. This is a classic movie, I think. It's a good movie. Okay, and this is another tape I've bought recently. Blank Check. This is the 1995 reprint. If you loved Home Alone, you'll love Blank Check. I do like Home Alone, and I have that, and I'll show that in my Fox VHS collections when I do that. And it has Brian Bonsall, who used to be on uh, Family Ties back in the late 80s, when he played the very younger brother. And I did post the previews on my Opstro 6 account, but that account is now gone. I closed it. But I'll repost the previews on my Daily Motion account, which there is Opster07. That's where Chris from Brooklyn recommended me to upload my Disney previews, which is what I'll do soon. And this is a funny movie. Blank check. It's a good one. Next is A Bug's Life. This is a 1999 VHS. And there it has Heimlich, uh, the, the Caterpillar. This was the second film for Disney and Pixar to produce. Together, the first one was Toy Story. And, oh, look. THX. <laughs> and it's got some bonus features, such as um, the Pixar winning award-winning short, Jerry's Game. And a sneak peek at the film Tarzan. I have that film, and I'll show it in another part. And I like A Bug's Life. It's a pretty good movie, but 
I kind of got to be honest. I like Toy Story better. I like the Toy Story movies better than this, but this is still a good movie. All right, let's put that tape back in there. And let's go to the next one. All right, and here I have the 1995 Masterpiece Edition print of Cinderella, which I got back in that year, 1995. And this is a classic princess film. I know there's a bunch of people out there who who like the Cinderella films. And now, I don't have the original 1988 VHS copy, but I'm trying to find a print of that. In fact, in another part of the video, I'm going to discuss a VHS trade uh, soon. And we'll talk about that later on. But I think this is a classic film myself. It's the 1988 VHS I'm looking for. It's just extremely hard to find, but who knows. And VHS trade, I'll talk about that later. And then next, I have Cool Runnings. This is a funny movie. It's got John Candy. And this is another sports film. It has to do with the Winter Olympics. And this is another funny movie. I like Disney comedies. And John Candy, he was a good actor, but unfortunately, he passed away back in 94. And it says on there, recommend this hit comedy to friend, comedy hit to friends. I do recommend it. So you all should check this out. Cool runnings. Okay. And the next, uh, I have D2 The Mighty Ducks. I know NES Fan 1111 has this tape. I got this back in 1994. May have been 95, but I got it at an old video rental store back in 94 or 95. I can't quite remember. But this is the 1994 VHS, and the Cool Runnings VHS is from 94. But this is a funny film. I also have the thir first and third Mighty Ducks films. I'm fixing to show the third... Mighty Ducks, but the um, the first one, I'll show that in another video. But this is funny. Of all the Mighty Ducks films, oh, at first I liked this one the best, but now that I have all three, that's a tough one. Because I pretty much like them all the same. And I know NES Fan 1111 likes this film. This is one of the few Disney tapes he has. And there you go. D2 The Mighty Ducks. And I mentioned I have D3, The Mighty Ducks. I found this at a pawn shop last month as well. This is the 1997 VHS of D3, The Mighty Ducks. And this is not a bad film either. Not bad for a sequel. Except that Emilio Estevez doesn't appear too much in this, uh, in this film. As much as he did the other two. But still, it's worth a look. It's worth a look watching if you like The Mighty Ducks films like I do. And, oh, don't let the tape get away from me there. Hey, come here. Mm -hmm. Kind of hard to get a tape back in the case and hold a camera. And the next tape I'd like to show is one of my favorites, DuckTales the Movie, Treasure of the Lost Land. This is a 1991 VHS. I first got this, uh, I first bought this tape in 96 at Target. But somehow I lost it in 1998, then I ordered it off eBay almost two years ago, and now I got it again. And of course, this tape has the FBI screens, as well as the, um, the Coming from Walt Disney Home Video logo. It has the 1986 logo with the voiceover, plus previews for Jungle Book and Rescuers Down Under, then feature presentation, and the Walt Disney Pictures logo. And I also used to watch the DuckTales TV show. In fact, I have Volume 1 on DVD. And of course, the DuckTales theme song, very catchy. I could Listen to that all day, non-stop. As could I watch the movie all the time, non-stop. Great, great movie. Then the next Disney VHS tape I have here is The Emperor's New Groove. This is a 2001 VHS. The grooviest animated trip since Aladdin. If you like Aladdin, you'll love The Emperor's New Groove. Well, I like Aladdin, and I like Emperor's New Groove. Look down there, THX. But also, it's got uh, a feature of the music video, My Funny Friend and Me by Sting. That is a really good song. I like Sting. He's a good singer. And I like the song, My Funny Friend and Me. Great, great song. 
But if you like, the, I also have this film on DVD as well. I'll show my Disney DVDs in a future video. And I'm going to show you one more tape, and then we will stop here for part two of my Disney VHS collections. The next tape I have, Chris from Brooklyn has, I know this, the 1991 VHS of Fantasia. This is a classic. This is the longest animated Disney film ever made, and it was the third animated Disney film. And, um, it's, a, it's good if you like musicals, I guess. I don't have Fantasia 2000 yet, but they're going to re-release Fantasia and Fantasia 2000 on Platinum Edition Disney DVD in the spring of 2010. But if you're a fan of Disney musicals, then you should go check this out. Well, that'll do it for part two of my Disney VHS tape collection, but we still got a bunch of tapes to go. I'll show some more in part three, and I hope y'all will stick around for that, won't you? Okay, moving on to the third part of my Disney VHS tape collection. We've shown quite a few tapes so far, but we still got a lot more to go, a bunch more to go. So let's continue on, shall we? The next VHS tape I'd like to show is the 1997 VHS of First Kid with Sinbad. And this is a funny film because Sinbad's in it and Zachary Ty Bryan from Home Improvement's also in the film. And it's not necessary that if you like politics and you'd like this film because I'm not a big political person, but it's still a comedy, so I'd still recommend this movie. Alright, and Sinbad, like I said, funny guy. Then you got the 1998 VHS of Flubber with Robin Williams. This is a remake of the film The Absent Minded Professor. I have not seen that film, but the movie Flubber is actually a pretty funny one. I enjoy it. I remember I saw it in the movie theaters when it first came out in 1997. And also Robin Williams is in it. He's uh, one of my favorite actors. And Weebo, the, his robot friend, was voiced by Jody Benson, who voiced, er, voices Ariel on The Little Mermaid. Just a uh, trivia fact for y'all. Alright. Going on. The next tape I have, the very last title in the Walt Disney Classics lineup. The Fox and the Hound, 1994 VHS. And also the very last Disney film to use the Buena Vista logo. But this is a classic film. I love Fox and the Hound. It's a great movie. It's a little bit sad, but... But if you like Bambi or Lady and the Tramp, then this is a good movie. And also there are some copies of Fox and the Hound that have a preview for Return to Jafar after the Lion King trailer. And there are some that skip it. My copy does contain the uh, the preview for Return of Jafar. But like I said, this is the last Disney film in the Walt Disney Classics lineup to use that logo. And last Disney film to use the Buena Vista logo. Before they moved into the Walt Disney Pictures logo in which Black Cauldron was first to use it. Next we have the 1997 VHS of Fun and Fancy Free. This is the 50th anniversary limited edition VHS. And it's got a free commemorative booklet, Walt Disney, The Man and the Mouse. I don't have that. This didn't come with it because I got this at a pawn shop. And it has the making of Fun and Fancy Free. In which it has the two cartoons, Bongo and Mickey and the Beanstalk. Between those two, I like Mickey and the Beanstalk a lot more, but Bongo's still good. But this is another classic movie I like. Fun and Fancy Free. Alright. Then we have the 1995 VHS of A Goofy Movie. I know Chris from Brooklyn has this, and he also has Fox and the Hound. And these two videos, Goofy Movie and Fun and Fancy Free, I got pawn shops. The others I've gotten from back in the day. But this is a good film if you like Goofy, if you like the Goof Troop series. And by the way, Chris, don't feel bad. My copy has the sticker label, too. But, you know, still a... Uh, funny movie if you like Goofy and if you like the Goof Troop series. Okay. Now we have the 1996 VHS of Gordy. And I think this film was released before Babe was. I know Gordy and Babe, they were first theatrically released in 1995. Now Babe is not a Disney film. It's a universal film, but between Gordy and Babe, I have to say Gordy was better. Uh, I I mean, Babe was better. I like Babe better, but Gordy's still a good movie. 
And also country singer Doug Stone appears in this movie. If you've heard of Doug Stone, then... But if you've never heard of him, then go check out some of his uh, music. He's a pretty good singer. Now, I also have Babe. I'll show that in my Universal VHS collection when I do that soon. Okay. Next, we have NES Fan 1111's favorite Disney animated film, Great Mouse Detective. And it's one of my favorites, too. I like this movie. This is a 1992 VHS. But... I love Great Mouse Detective. I could watch it all the time and not get tired of it. This is a great, great movie. And plus, there were some tapes where the title was kind of off-center, but that really doesn't matter to me. What matters most is if the film is enjoyable, and which this film definitely is in my book. Alright. Then we have the 1998 VHS of Hercules. The people who made uh, Little Mermaid and Aladdin also made this film. And it's not bad. If you like mythology and if you like action, then you'll enjoy this movie. I think it's a pretty good one. So you should check this movie out. It's a good one. Okay. And then the next VHS tape I have is Homeward Bound 2, Lost in San Francisco. I also have the first Homeward Bound film. But it's in a uh, cardboard slipcover case, which I'll show in another video. But if you like the Homeward Bound movies, then you'll enjoy this one. This is not bad for a sequel. But between The, the Incredible Journey and Lost in San Francisco, I liked Homeward Bound The Incredible Journey better. But this is still pretty good. You know, the original film is usually the, the best one, in my opinion. But, you know, everybody has their own opinions, and you are entitled to them, so... What can you say, right? But anyhow, all joking aside. Going on. The next three films. The Honey series. This is Honey, I Blew Up the Kid. <laughs> this is a funny movie. This is a 1997 reprint. And the original came out in 1992. I've seen it before, but I don't have it. Of all the films in the Honey series, this one is my favorite. This one makes me laugh the most. Recommend this hit to friends. Well... I definitely recommend it. So, y'all should check this movie out. And also, the next one I have, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, including the bonus animated short, Roger Rabbit in Tummy Trouble. But that's a funny cartoon. I also have Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I'll show that in my Buena Vista VHS collection with the Touchstone, Touchstone uh, VHS collection. I'll do that soon. But, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids is really good. This is the first film in the Honey series. This is also a 1997 reprint. So, I checked that, this movie out. And, of course, it'd be impossible to own these two VHS tapes without having Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves, the 1997 VHS this was a direct-to-video, um, a direct-to-video film. The Honey, I Shrunk the Kids and Honey, I Blew Up the Kid were released theatrically. This one was not. This is just a straight-to-video release, and this movie was okay, I guess, but it's probably my least favorite in the series, but it's still a good movie. Not bad for a direct-to-video, uh, film. And then next is the 1997 VHS of The Hunchback of Notre Dame, another one of my favorite Disney films. And the uh, people who made Beauty and the Beast also made this movie. But this is a really, really good movie. I could watch this a lot, nonstop, and not get tired of it. This is a really good Disney movie. And I know Chris from Brooklyn has this. And now the next VHS tape I'd like to show is the 1999 VHS of Inspector Gadget. Based on the animated TV cartoon series, which I used to watch. But this movie, it is pretty funny. I, I personally like it. I know there's some who may not like it, but I still think it has funny parts in it. It's got Matthew Broderick and Rupert Everett. 
And then at the very end of the film, it has a music video for I'll Be Your Everything and More. And plus a promo for the animated Inspector Gadget videos. Okay. And then the next VHS tape I have is the 1996 VHS of James and the Giant Peach, which I got at a Goodwill not so long ago. And, um... This is, if you like the movie The Nightmare Before Christmas, then you would like this film. I personally think it's a great movie. It's one of my, it's in one of my favorites, so. And speaking of The Nightmare Before Christmas, I have that VHS. I'll show it to you in another video. And I'm going to show you one more Disney VHS tape for part three, then we'll stop here, and then we will move on into part four. Actually, you know what? The next Disney VHS tape I have, I'm going to di first discuss in part four because it's going to take a lot. I've got a lot to say about it. So, I hope you all enjoyed part three of my VHS tape collection, and I will have more for you in part four. So, stick around for that, won't you? Welcome back. It's now time for part four of my Disney VHS tape collection, in which I've still got a bunch of tapes to go over. And I said for the, at the beginning of this one, I have a bunch of words to say about my next VHS tape. Well, let's get to it. The 1991 VHS of The Jungle Book. Yes, this is one tape I've been trying to get for 17 years. I've been trying really hard to get this, but... I remember I used to rent this tape religiously back in the 1990s at an old video store. And... One time at another old video rental store that was going out of business, I saw the case for this, but they said they didn't have the tape for it. However... October of last year, when I started visiting pawn shops, I was able to find this tape, and it was only worth two dollars, and I was able to get it. So it took me, literally, it took me 17 years to get me a copy of this tape. This is a, a great VHS copy, and it's also a great movie. I love The Jungle Book. It's in one of my favorites. Now, there were some copies that had the sticker label on it, but that's a pretty hard-to-find print. I know Maximation 80 has that, but... I don't have it, but I might find it someday. Who knows? Speaking of Jungle Book, I have the 1997 VHS print, the 30th anniversary limited edition, and this is a pretty good restoration, and it's got the uh, free music of the Jungle Book songbook. Didn't come with this because I got this at a pawn shop, and the behind-the-scenes featurette, behind-the-scenes look at the making of this film, and plus also on my 1991 VHS The Jungle Book, after the Walt Disney Classics logo, it just goes right to the film. After the THX logo was shown on this print, it shows the 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo, and then it goes to the film. They didn't use the Buena Vista logo until the 1999 DVD was released, in which I used to have it, but I don't anymore. But they also had a newer Buena Vista logo intact for the 2007 DVD. But we're going on. I have another Jungle film here, which is... Wait. Hold on. Hold on. I'm pretty sure I have it. Here it is, yeah. A little out of order, but it's alright. I also have the Jungle Book Mowgli story. This is a 1998 direct to video uh, feature. It has um, the kid who played Johnny Capahara in uh, Johnny Tsunami. But, this is a live action film, but it's not bad. It's a pretty good film, but I kind of prefer the animated Jungle Book better. The cartoon's usually pretty good, but this one's okay. It's still worth a look. And I have another Disney Jungle film, which happens to be Jungle to Jungle, the uh, 1997 VHS with Tim Allen and Martin Short, who are in Santa Claus 3. And this is a funny film. This is pretty funny. It's got Tim Allen, as I mentioned. And if you're a Tim Allen fan, if you like Tim Allen movies, then you should check this out. I personally recommend it. Oh, hard to get a VHS head back in the case and holding a camera in your hand at the same time. Alright, that's enough jungle films I have there. Moving on. 1996 VHS of A Kid in King Arthur's Court. Um, this one, uh, it's okay. 
Not really one of my favorites, but still worth a look. I kind of prefer Sword in the Stone better, in which I have two VHS copies of Sword in the Stone, which we'll talk about in another video. But overall, this movie's okay. Not in my favorites, but still worth a look. And then next I have the 1998 VHS of Lady and the Tramp, the uh, fully restored edition. And I found this at a pawn shop. Well, I didn't get it at Goodwill. I got it at a pawn shop. And Lady and the Tramp. This is a classic film. I love Lady and the Tramp. But the 1987 VHS, the first printing of that VHS, I am still looking for that. And one of uh, some of my VHS tapes I have, I'd be willing to trade it for that copy, but I'll talk about that in another video. And this is a pretty good movie, but I like this copy, but I'm trying to get a 1987 VHS. We'll talk about that in another video. And of course, sequel. 2001 VHS printing of Lady and the Tramp 2 Scamps Adventure, a direct-to-video film. And... It's okay for a sequel. It's not bad. I mean, I like Lady and the Tramp, but the sequel, it's not too bad. I know there's some who may not like it, but I'd say it's okay. It doesn't really follow up to the original film, but because it talks about Scamp, Scamp's point of view rather than Lady and the Tramp's, but you know how, how sequels go. Then next I have the 1995 VHS of The Lion King. This is a classic Disney film. Very, very great movie. I remember seeing it in the theaters back in 1994. And of course, uh, Elton John does the music and the songs for this film, in which I like Elton John's music. So, if you like The Lion King, you should definitely check it out. Oh, oh no. The film there was kind of coming out a little bit, but fortunately it didn't. Oh, get back in there. There we go. Let's move on. I also have the 2003 Platinum Edition VHS of Lion King, or Special Edition, in which this has the Morning Report sequence, and uh, the music video Circle of Life performed by the Disney Channel Circle of Stars. And also, this VHS has the orange Walt Disney Pictures logo from... 2000, I think, seen in films such as Remember the Titans, 102 Dalmatians, to name but a couple of them. Well, that one has the 1990 logo. This one has the 2000 logo. Like I said, it was seen in uh, Remember the Titans and 102 Dalmatians, to name but a couple of examples. And the Morning Report sequence, it's not bad either. It's a pretty good song. I also have the sequel to the film, the 1998 VHS of Lion King 2, Simba's Pride. Not bad for a sequel. Not one of the greatest sequels, but in a way, still good. Still got good parts in it. This is a direct-to-video film. Oh, so it's kind of hard to get back in there. And then, I have the 1990 VHS of The Little Mermaid, which I was able to find at a pawn shop for a couple of dollars. This is a classic movie. I know there's a bunch of people who like The Little Mermaid. Now, I also had a printing of this tape uh, without the case, which I'll show in another video. And this, The Little Mermaid, when it was first released a video in 1990, it had absolutely no previews. None. Just the FBI screens, the Walt Disney Classics logo, and the original 1985 Walt Disney Pictures logo. And then, of course, I have the 1998 reprint of The Little Mermaid, the fully restored limited edition. And this one has the music video to Part of Your World, which it's okay. It's not bad. And a good restoration, too, I might say. And plus, at the beginning, uh, for the previews, Jody Benson talks about the previews on what to expect from Disney in the future. But once again, a classic film. This is a pretty good movie. 
Not in my favorites, but still good. Then you have the sequel, The Little Mermaid 2 Return to the Sea, which I found at a pawn shop not so long ago. And once again, not bad for a sequel. I haven't seen Little Mermaid 3 yet. I don't know if that one's going to be real good, but I might check it out soon. And I have one more VHS tape I will cover for part 4, and then I will see you guys in part 5. And the last VHS tape we'll talk about for part 4 is the 1996 reprint of Man of the House. Uh, the original VHS was sold in a clam uh, cardboard slipcover case. I have that. I'll show it in another video. This one was in the claim showcase. And this is a funny film. It's got Jonathan Taylor Thomas, who used to be on Home Improvement, and Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase is pretty funny. So, y'all should go check this film out. I recommend it. And we'll stop here for part four of my Disney VHS tape collection, but part five will be coming right up. And we still have a bunch more tapes to go over, so I hope y'all will stay tuned, won't you? We are now moving on into part 5 of my Disney VHS tape collection, in which I still have a bunch of tapes left. So, let's go ahead and get right on into them, shall we? Good. The next VHS tape I have is the 1996 VHS of The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. This is a reprint of the 1981-82 VHS. And this is a classic. It has uh, shorts, uh, Winnie the Pooh shorts of um, Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree. Winnie the Pooh and the Blustered Day, and Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2. And I've got the sticker label on here. And it's a pretty good movie. Before the movie, it has a behind-the-scenes look at the making of uh, Main Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. It's about five minutes long. It's not bad. It's worth a look-see. I know it has some interviews from Paul Winchell, who voiced Tigger, and the Sherman brothers, Richard Sherman and Robert Sherman. All right, now... There's uh, the next three VHS tapes. I did a comparison videos over. I did a comparison video over Mary Poppins on my Ops 06 account, but that video is no longer there due to me closing that account. But I'll redo the comparison soon. This is a 1985 or 86 VHS, in which this copy has the FBI screens and the neon Mickey logo, and then the start of the opening credits. Now, the FBI screens, I'm talking about the 1984 red-orange ones. Okay. Then the next VHS tape I have of Mary Poppins is from 1989 or 1990, in which this also has the 84 FBI screens, and then the Sorcerer Mickey Walt Disney Home Video logo from 1986, and then the start of the opening credits. And this copy also contains a sticker label. I know Chris from Brooklyn's copy has the ink labels, and his copy has the Buena Vista logo, not this one. This is Buena Vista Less. But this was printed in 1992. That's kind of interesting. And I have yet another Mary Poppins VHS. It's from 1997. The fully restored limited edition one. Bam. Right there. And it has a free commemorative booklet. I don't have it because I got this at a pawn shop. And plus, uh, behind the scenes the... Mary Poppins practically perfect in every way. Now, I I will redo the comparison videos between the Mary Poppins VHS and my 40th anniversary edition DVD. And also, this copy is Buena Vista logo less as well. This has no Buena Vista logo because after the THX logo and after the green format screen, it starts with the 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo as does the 40th anniversary edition DVD that I have. But still, Mary Poppins, classic film. Good, good movie. Then, the next VHS tape I'd like to cover is Mighty Joe Young, the 1999 VHS. This is another good movie. In a way, it is kind of a sad film, but it's still really, really good. Worth, worth a look. Mighty Joe Young. I know RKO Pictures made the original Mighty Joe Young film in 1949. This is a remake of that film, except Disney and RKO produced it together. And the next VHS tape I have is The Muppet Christmas Carol. If you take a look, it's a demo tape. How in the world was I able to get a demo tape? I 
was able to get this at a pawn shop. I don't know how or why, but that's what it says. It says, Strong Purchase Intent Equal to Best Selling Family Video Title, Disney's Rescuers Down Under. Huh. Not for sale or rental. Must be returned upon request. And a sticker label on there. But still, Muppet Christmas Carol's a good movie. I was able to find this at a pawn shop. I don't know how they were able to get a demo tape there, but I'm not going to complain about it because it's still a good movie. And I have another Muppet VHS, which I picked up last week. Muppet Treasure Island. Good movie. I remember I first saw this in the movie theaters back in 1996. So, if you like the Muppets, then I think y'all will like this film. It's pretty good. Alright. Let's see. Hmm, let's see if I can get this tape back in here, which... I just did. Okay. Next VHS tape I have is the 1999 VHS of Mulan. This is another good movie. And uh, I also have the 2004 DVD, which I will uh, cover in a Disney DVD video, which I'll do soon. There it is. But this is another classic film. I think everybody likes Mulan. I enjoy this film myself. And next, uh, I also have the 1999 VHS of My Favorite Martian, based on the classic TV show. And this movie, it's got its funny parts. I think it's alright. It's not really my favorites, but, you know, it's based off the classic TV show, so it's, it's a comedy. It's a pretty funny movie, I'll say. Let's just get that back in there. Alright. And next I have the 1994 VHS of Nightmare Before Christmas, back when Touchstone had the rights to this film. Disney was originally going to produce this, but when Michael Eisner was chairman of, uh, was over at Disney, he um, said this film was a little bit too dark for kids to watch, but... In 2005, Disney re-released it in 3D, and that's when uh, Disney took over the rights. Um, I remember this film has the Touchstone Pictures logo, but when I saw it in 3D, it had the 2006 logo. Still, though, either way, great movie. If you like Tim Burton, watch this film. Classic Tim Burton film. Then, the next VHS I have is the 1996 VHS of Oliver and Company. Now, the film was first theatrically released in 1988, and then re-released in 1996, and then still uh, came out on VHS that year. And this is another film where if you like animals, you'll enjoy this. If you like 101 Dalmatians, or the Aristocats even, then I think you'd enjoy Oliver and Company. It's a great film. And The Dodger, who's voiced by Billy Joel. Uh, Billy Joel's actually one of my favorite singers. He's a pretty good singer. Of course, I remember Billy Joel's first big hit was Piano Man. That's a classic song. Then next, we have the 1992 VHS of one of my favorite Disney films, 101 Dalmatians. This is a classic film. I love this film. Still watch it a lot, and could watch it until the end of time. I also have the 2008 Platinum Edition DVD, which I will cover in my Disney DVD collections very soon. But yeah, definitely in my favorites. Love 101 Dalmatians. And speaking of which, 101 Dalmatians, I happen to have the 1997 live action VHS. Right about here. Bam. And this film is pretty good. You know, it's kind of similar to the animated version. But I prefer the animated version better. But the live action version still has good parts in it. You know, it's got Glenn Close as Cruella DeVille. And she doesn't do a bad job as her. And speaking of Cruella DeVille and Glenn Close, Glenn Close returns as Cruella DeVille in 102 Dalmatians, in which I have the 2001 VHS. Right here, that I got at a pawn shop recently. 
and this one is okay. In my opinion, it's just it's okay. A sticker label. Don't know why it's got a sticker label on there, but Chris from Brooklyn, I know how you feel. An okay film, but I, I just prefer the animated Hundred One Dimensions. I gotta stick with that. I'll cover uh, one more. Make it two more VHS tapes. 1998 VHS of the Parent Trap. Remake of the 1961 classic. Lindsay Lohan was in this film. Haley Mills was in the original um, the original 1961 film. I used to have that, but I gave it to my sister. And this one's good, I guess. But Lindsay Lohan, she's a bit of a troublemaker, if you ask me. This was before she became a big troublemaker. I'll get the original Parent Trap VHS one of these days. Well, I'll get the original film. I don't know which year VHS I'll get. I'll tell you what. I'll go ahead and stop here for part 5 of my Disney VHS tape collection. But there is going to be a part 6 coming up right after this. So stick around for it, won't you? Let's move on into part 6 of my Disney VHS tape collection, shall we? In which I still have quite a few more to cover. And the next one I have is the 1991 VHS of Pete's Dragon. This is a classic film. And... This copy has the FBI screens from 84 plus the 1986 Walt Disney Home Video logo. And plus the, um, the, the 1970s MPAA rating thing. And then the film's Buena Vista logo, which was also shown on the 1980 VHS, which I don't have that, but I've heard about that. But this is a classic film, Pete's Dragon. I like this movie. It's not bad. Then, well, I said in another video I discussed something about a VHS tape trade. Because I have two versions of the next uh, tape I'd like to show. Two uh, 1990 versions of Peter Pan. Now, the previews and everything are exactly the same on here. And Peter Pan is a classic film. I personally, oh, I personally enjoy this movie, but take a look at the two tapes I have. It's this from March 24th, 1990 when the tape was finally was printed. Here's what that one looks like. And how about this one? Take a look at this one. That one looks newer. And look, no print date. But the previews on these two tapes are exactly the same. The FBI screens and then the coming to theaters bumper and then a Behind the scenes look at the rescuers down under, plus the now on video cassette bumper. Preview for the Little Mermaid, and the Walt Disney Classics logo, and then the 1985 Walt Disney Pictures logo. I would trade this tape right here. I'm opening up a VHS trade. I'd be glad to trade for another tape, and here's what I would trade for. Now this version of Peter Pan right here, I'm willing to keep this one. This one, though, I'd be willing to trade. I'll trade it for any of the following VHS tapes. Are you listening? Paying attention? All right, here we go. I'll trade this version for the 1986 VHS of Sleeping Beauty, the 1987 VHS of Lady and the Tramp, or the 1988 VHS of Cinderella. If anyone out there has a, a copy of any of those, I'll repeat them. The 1986 VHS of Sleeping Beauty, the 1987 VHS of Lady and the Tramp, or the 1988 VHS of Cinderella. If anyone out there has any of those copies and they would like to trade for this print, I'd be more than glad. Just send me a message. We'll work something out. But this VHS right down here, I want to keep that one. This one I'll trade. I'm going on with the VHS collection. This is Home of the Good Guys, or Chris from Brooklyn's favorite Disney film, Pinocchio. This is from the 1993 VHS release. This was the first Disney film he ever saw in a theater. And I think this is a great film. This movie is going to be re-released on a two-disc Platinum Edition DVD next month, in which I am going to get it. And there you go. But I think Pinocchio is a great film, too. I watched that just uh, a couple of weeks ago, a couple of weekends ago. But it's a classic. I love this movie, too. And if there's anyone out there who's going to get the Platinum Edition DVD, tell me, because I'm going to get it too. Next, we have the 
1996 VHS of Pocahontas, another classic Disney film. I love this movie too, it's a pretty good one. And there have been people telling me that they made a print with the 1989 Walt Disney Classics logo. I wouldn't know, I haven't found that tape yet, because this has the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo. But who knows, I just might find it one of these days. Anything can happen. Oh, hey, come here. Mm -hmm. Escape from me. <laughs> Another good movie. I personally recommend this one. Here, let's back these up. There. <laughs> then next I have the 1997 VHS of Pooh's Grand Adventure, The Search for Christopher Robin, a direct-to-video release. This is another good movie. When, um, this is when Pooh and the gang try to search for Christopher Robin when he goes to school. And, for some reason, this film has the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection promo. I mean, the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo. There's no promo for it. It has the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo. I don't really know why, but, you know, I'm not going to complain. Because it's still a good movie. With or without the logo. And I picked this VHS tape up last week. The 1999 VHS of The Rescuers. Now, the 1992 VHS, I'm going to get that soon. Look for it at a pawn shop that I visit regularly that I know still has it. So, I'm going to go get that soon. But The Rescuers, this is a classic film. I love The Rescuers. It's a good movie. I watched it yesterday. And the thing is, the 1992 VHS starts off after the Walt Disney Classics logo. It shows the Buena Vista logo. But on this tape, after the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo, it shows the 1985 Walt Disney Pictures logo. And then at the very end of the film, after the movie's over, it shows the Buena Vista logo. Isn't that weird? It shows the 85 WVP logo at the beginning. But at the end, it shows the, uh, the Buena Vista logo. All right. And the next two VHS tapes I have are Rescuers Down Under tapes. This is the 1991 VHS print that I found recently. This has the 1991 FBI screens, as well as the Walt Disney Home Video logo, and the Jungle Book preview, and then the feature presentation logo, then Walt Disney Classics, Walt Disney Pictures. This VHS tape, on the other hand, look. It's got those lines in there. This was printed in 1993. This has the green FBI screens, the Walt Disney Classics logo, and the Walt Disney Pictures logo. I'm willing to set up a VHS trade with um, this printing, the 1991 VHS print right here. I'm going to keep this one. This version right here, I'm willing to trade. This I got in 1994. This I got in November. Here we go. Get this in here. What will I be willing to trade for this tape? Once again, if anyone has a copy of the 1986 VHS of Sleeping Beauty, the 1987 VHS of Lady and the Tramp, or the 1988 VHS of Cinderella, I'll be willing to trade this tape as well. If anyone out there wants to trade those tapes, I'll either trade it for this VHS of Peter Pan, or this VHS of Rescuers Down Under. This print, and this print, I'm keeping those. But let's move on. 1994 release of The Return of Jafar, the other film in the Aladdin trilogy, is the second one. The first Disney animated movie produced exclusively for video. This is pretty good, actually, except Robin Williams does not voice the genie in this film. It's actually Dan Castellaneta, who's best known for voicing Homer Simpson. Go! Oh! <laughs> you like that? But this isn't bad for a sequel or a direct-to-video release. Uh, this is also a pretty good Aladdin film in the trilogy. Right? Got that. Next is, uh, I have here the 1984 VHS of Robin Hood. The very first Disney animated film with the cheesy classics logo to be released on video. I was able to find this at a pawn shop for $2 last December. This is one of the two tapes I have with the cheesy classics logo. The other one I'll show you in another video. But yep, this tape, it does play pretty good for its age. It's from 1984. It has the FBI screens and the cheesy classics logo. And this tape does feature the Walt Disney and You promo at the end. 
After the movie's over, it does show the Walt Disney and You promo. And speaking of which, this is the only tape I have with the Walt Disney and You promo. And still Robin Hood. It's a classic movie. I personally like it. And the other... I have another VHS of Robin Hood. Bada bing, bada boom. Right here. The 1991 VHS. Which I was able to find at a pawn shop. Back in November. In which this does have the previews after the Walt Disney Home Video logo for the Jungle Book. And Rescuers Down Under. Plus the feature presentation. The Walt Disney Classics logo. And then the start of the film. But yep. Yeah. Robin Hood classic film. I have two VHS tapes that I've been trying to get. The 1984 VHS and the 1991 VHS. So we'll stop here for part six of my VHS tape collection, but I will follow up with part seven in which I will go over the remainder of what Disney tapes I have left. So tell me what y'all think, and I will see you in part seven. This is part seven of my Disney VHS tape collection, in which I have a few clamshell tapes left, and then my non clamshell uh, tapes, but um, cardboard slipcover cases, so let's get right down to it. Right here is the 1994 VHS of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, first time ever released on home video, first animated Disney film ever made. This is a great film. And there were copies of this VHS tape that after the Roy E. Disney intro, it either has the 1986 Walt Disney Home Video logo or the... Um, Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo. This has the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo. Then the Walt Disney Pictures logo. And then the start of the film. Pretty good movie too. It's going to be re-released on a Platinum Edition DVD and Blu-ray this fall. Then right here is the 1992 VHS of So Dear to My Heart. And this is a classic film. It's a pretty good movie. And... This film has yet to be released on Disney DVD. Maybe it'll come out soon. Who knows when. So it's not a bad film. It's a pretty good one. Alright. Let's see if I can get it in there. Yes, I can. The next... The 1986 VHS of The Sword and the Stone. Or is it? On my Opstro 6 account... I pointed out this video, I thought I had gotten the 1986 VHS, but here's something I didn't catch. The sticker label's on there, okay? But look at that. That thing that you pull out that won't let the tape record anymore, it was still in there. I didn't catch on. Turned out to be someone had peeled the sticker off the original tape, put it on here to pass it off as the 1986 VHS. Someone really recorded this off the Disney Channel back in the 1980s. And I didn't catch on to it at first. <coughs> but oh well. But Sword and Stone's still a pretty good movie. And since this tape is recordable, after the movie was over, I recorded The Bucket List off HBO one night. That's a pretty good movie. Jack Nicholson and Morgan Freeman. Put it in there. I hope to find the real 1986 VHS someday. Speaking of Sword and Stone, I have the 1991 reprint. A very rare tape, kind of hard to find, but I managed to find this at a pawn shop. And because it was rare, because it's rare, I got it for $25. Whew. And here's this sticker label on there. And right here, the 1991 VHS. But still, Sword and Stone, classic movie. Love that movie. I also have the 2001 Gold Classic Collection DVD, which I'll show soon. Then next I have the 1996 VHS of Tall Tale, The Unbelievable Adventure. And this has Patrick Swayze, who's currently battling pancreatic cancer right now. But, this is a pretty good movie, actually. If you like, you know, westerns. Well, it's not really a western, but in a way it is. But still, pretty good movie about Pecos Bill. So I think this is an enjoyable movie. Then, next you have the 2000 VHS of Tarzan. Another cool Disney animated film. And plus, this has the uh, Trash in the Camp recording session uh, video. Plus, uh, Strangers Like Me music video. And, of course, it's THX certified. Everybody knows that. 
And this movie does feature songs and music by Phil Collins, who's one of my favorite singers. I like Phil Collins. But yep, Tarzan, good movie. Okay. Next we have the 1996 VHS of Tom and Huck. This is a funny movie. It's got Jonathan Taylor Thomas and Brad Renfro. Unfortunately, Brad Renfro passed away a year ago. But I like this movie. I remember I saw this in the movie theaters back in 96. No, 95. 95. December 95 is when I saw it in the movie theaters. Based on Mark Twain's novel about those two boys, Thomas Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. The next I have the 1996 VHS of Toy Story. First Disney computer animated film. Great, great movie. Very awesome film. Love it. I also have the 2000 DVD. And plus, uh, there are different versions of this tape where the Hercules trailer were different. There are two different versions of the Hercules trailer. This one has Charlton Heston narrating the long ago thing. And the other one has Mark Elliott saying, you're invited to see this movie. And the last Disney VHS tape I have in a clamshell case is from 1984, Winnie the Pooh and Friends, which I found at a pawn shop recently. It's got Winnie the Pooh and A Day for Eeyore on here, and plus some shorts with um, Humphrey the Bear, called Hooked Bear, In the Bag, and Hold That Pose. I was able to find this at a pawn shop last uh, December, and it's pretty good, actually. I liked Winnie the Pooh and the Day for Eeyore. It's a pretty good classic there. Well, those are all my Disney VHS tapes and clamshells, but I've got some Disney VHS tapes and cardboard shells, or just tapes by themselves. Starting with Alice in Wonderland from 1986. I got this at a pawn shop for a dollar back in December. This tape right here has the Cheesy Classics logo, but for this tape, the logo takes 10 seconds for it to fade. But hey, uh, no complaints. According to System Operator, he said this is a bootleg copy. Oh lord, I hope it's not. It doesn't look like a bootleg. There's a sticker label. Pretty good movie. Alice in Wonderland. Hope to get the real 1986 VHS one of these days. And you know how I said I had the 1989 VHS of Bambi? One with the case, one without? This is the one with that. Basically, it needs no introduction. I already mentioned this tape. And speaking of Bambi, I have the 2005 VHS tape. While the THX logo sa says it's on at the bottom, this tape does not have the THX logo. No way. After the feature presentation logo, it goes to the cut short Walt Disney Pictures logo and then the film. But yeah, this film, this tape does not have the THX logo. Not like the 1997 VHS. And right here is the 1991 VHS of the Brave Little Toaster. It's in a plastic rental case, which I got at the pawn shop. Now this tape was printed in 1992. But the everything itself is from 1991. Because it's got the FBI screens from 84. And the Walt Disney Home Video Presents logo. Plus previews for Jungle Book, Rescuers Down Under, then feature presentation, then the film. But Brave Little Toaster, great, great film. Love it. Grown up with it since I was a kid, and still enjoy it to this day. Oh, snaps. On there. And I have a Disney sing-along song video of The Bare Necessities. It's from 1991, I believe. It's got songs from Jungle Book, uh, Cinderella, Old Yeller, Dumbo, and the Aristocats, to name but a few. Sticker label, and this was printed in 91, 1991. And I have one other Disney sing-along song video, Be Our Guest. This is from 1992, which features songs from Beauty and the Beast, uh, Mary Poppins, Pinocchio, Lady and the Tramp, Sleeping Beauty, Great Mouse Detective to name but a few. And this has some pretty recognizable songs on here, which I know and love, which I hope you know and love too. 
The next I have the 1997 VHS of George of the Jungle. This is a pretty funny movie. <laughs> I never watched the TV show George of the Jungle, but the movie is, like it says there, hilariously funny. If you like George of the Jungle, then this movie's for you. Okay, and we'll, I know I said we'd go through the rest of my VHS tapes in this part, but we still got a few left. Uh, I'm going to cover one more tape, then we'll go into part 8. Herbie Rides Again. This is from 1985, I think. But I found this at a pawn shop for $2. And then they put it in an old rental kit cover. Here's the tape right here, the sticker label. Sticker. And this tape has the 1984 FBI screens and the 1983 Walt Disney Home Video logo, Neon Mickey. And that's it. That's all it shows. Well, that'll do it for part 7 of, of my Disney VHS tape collection, but there is going to be a part 8 coming up in which I will go over what tapes I have left. And I hope y'all will stay tuned for that, won't you? See you then. Okay, moving on to the eighth and final part of my Disney VHS tape collection, in which I still got a few tapes left to show, all being in uh, cardboard slip cover cases. So let's get to those right now, shall we? Here they are. 1993 VHS of Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey. First film in the Homeward Bound series. Great, great movie. Between this one and the sequel, have to go with this one. This one's better. There's the tape right there. 1993. Alright. Good movie to watch if you like animal films. The next tape I have does not have a case for it. Or I uh, didn't have it when I bought it. 1986 VHS, The Journey of Natty Gann. And this film has the FBI screens and the Walt Disney Home Video logo from 86. But the Walt Disney Pictures logo is not shown. That's weird. But it's still a good movie, Journey of Natty Gann. I personally enjoy it. <clears throat> and the next VHS tape I have here, once again, no case. That's how it came when I bought it. The 1983 VHS of Kidnapped. And this one has the weird red and blue FBI screens from 1983, as well as the 1978 Walt Disney Home Video logo. And then the start of the film. Yep. It's not a bad film either. Okay. Then I said I had two copies of the 1990 VHS of The Little Mermaid. One with the case, one without. This is the one without the case. Needs no further discussion because I talked about that earlier. Then I said I had the, a copy of Man of the House with the cardboard clip cover case. Ta-da! There it is. And the previews on this are different from the 1996 uh, VHS I have. I'll post these on Daily Motion sometime. It is. That's all I'm going to go into detail on that one. And I have a 1994 reprint of The Mighty Ducks. And I like The Mighty Ducks. It is a really funny movie. I personally enjoy it. Recommend this at Comedy to Friends. Well, I recommend it. The thing about it is, though, is that this tape has only the green FBI screens, the Walt Disney Home Video logo, uh, coming to video cassette bumper, and then a pre for a D2, then feature presentation, green format screen, the WDP logo. I don't quite remember what previews were on the original VHS, but it's all right. <clears throat> then I have one of Disney's favorite story videos, Prince and the Popper. This is a 1990 three or four VHS, I'm not quite sure which one, but this was released theatrically, and this was shown before The Rescuers Down Under, which is one of my favorite movies, and Prince of the Popper, pretty good, pretty good animated film there. Then next I have the 2001 VHS of Remember the Titans with Denzel Washington, this is a really good movie. I liked Remember the Titans, it was awesome. And there it is. If you like sports movies that are based on true stories, then you enjoy this one. Remember the Titans. I have two Disney VHS tapes left, and this is the 1992 VHS of The Rocketeer. And this is a 
action-packed film. I like The Rocketeer. I also have the game, the NES game, which I will show off in my NES collection very soon. Alright. Can't really read the print date on there, but I know it's from 92. And my final Disney VHS tape I have is the 1995 VHS of The Santa Claus. The first film in the Santa Claus series. I have the other two on DVD. And of course, of all of all those, this one is the best one. The other two are okay. But the Santa Claus, these are good Christmas films, Christmas comedies to watch with Tim Allen. And yep, there you have it for my Disney VHS tape collection. I showed you a bunch in claim show cases and the rest are in cardboard slipcover cases. And if y'all have any questions or comments, just type them as you watch these. And the next video I do will be my Fox VHS tape collection, which I will post for y'all very soon. I hope y'all have enjoyed watching. See y'all next time.